So I can't do this in one video. It's going to be whatever this is. You see the line is right there. That's all the crop that has settled. So you loosen this off so there's no vacuum. And then you punch a hole just above the settle mark. And you let it drain. This, in fact, will keep all the crap in the bottom of the of the jug instead of it going through all your filter system. Like I say, it's been filtered for a while. It, in fact, drains into those filters I've showed you on the first video, the 50, no, first the 100, then the 50, and then the 20. It comes from the jug, down a cool spout, some crude filters here and that's probably why my uh, 100 micron filter is getting so clogged up I gotta keep the big crap out and into there easy so let's go to the next spot uh, we are going to go to the filtration which is right here that hose comes from the bottom of the tank up around I just had a big hose I didn't want to cut it in case I needed to siphon something else out and it goes into a pump that I had manufactured from a four five liter 5.7 liter something all it is is a truck it doesn't even have to be a truck all it is is a all it is is a power steering pump from a truck. Fucking easy, right? That one comes in, and that one goes out. There's a probably a one horsepower furnace motor, which is not powerful enough. And you know, just some crude. It's crude, but it's it's working and it's not leaking. The pump takes it from the tank. Shoots it out that hose, brings it up into here. Here is 25 microns, just a filter setup. Here is 10 micron filters, and here's five. I choose to go not any further because I'm just burning it in Mad Max. He, uh, he don't care. I thought five was close enough to put it through a car I might go that way one time too uh, but yeah comes from the tank hose through the filters and then up through here back into the tank through this valve here looks complicated but there's just a lot of hoses and stuff I'm gonna pause you